So about a year, so I'm going to talk about 5G or CP and virtual networks that are really used by real telecom operators, not just by the labs, but for real deployment. So about a year ago, we were very lucky in our company called Rapid Space to sign an MOU with uh, Vietnam's largest telecom company called Viet Viettel in presence of uh, Vietnam Prime Minister in Paris. Um, many people don't know, but I would say that Vietnam is actually one of the most advanced countries when it comes to deployment of uh, virtual radio access networks with uh, incredible research and development, uh, huge, and it's, it's just like super advanced. And it happens that we are one of the providers of uh, VRAN solutions that can scale up with more than 500 UE per cell, something that is quite common with traditional infrastructure but that many VRAN systems are not able to support. And our technology is called simple RAN. It's not open RAN, it's not ORAN, it's simple, simple RAN. It has only three components. It's very easy to train people in universities to deploy 5G networks with simple RAN. On the right side, there's a radio unit, a bit like uh, and I'm, let's say, a speaker if you are doing music. Then on the middle, it's just a BBU. Some people call it nowadays all-in-one DUCU. They split the BBU into DUCU, but it was expensive. So they put it back into one. They call it all-in-one DUCU, but that's same as a BBU. That's the part that calculates the radio signal. We use OCP servers from mostly MITAC, either the standard OCP servers or edge computing servers. And the server in the middle is connected to the right side just with an optical fiber and a standard called CIPRI. It's an old standard, but we compared the cost between CIPRI and eCIPRI based on Ethernet, and CIPRI was cheaper. So we thought Ethernet would be cheaper. We tried a year. It was more expensive than we go back to the old way. It works better. We can have actually a distance of up to 200, sorry, 100 kilometer between the BBU and the radio unit, and it still works. So this means a country like Japan can be covered with less than 50 data centers with optical wires going uh, from the BBU to the RU. And on the left side, that's called the core network. Everything we do is using OCP hardware, AMD or Intel. The software is uh, open source except Amarisoft. We don't use hardware accelerator. The OSS BSS, which manages the network, is open source. We have end-to-end -end testing, which is fully automated. And uh, we are already career ready. And we thought open source is good for software. Open source is good for hardware, but how about doing open source for service? And this is where we came with the idea of open process. A service is said open process if you are free to use it for any purpose, if anybody can copy how it's made, if anybody can copy the operation manual and the bill of materials to copy the service, and if you are free to actually commercialize that service in modified or unmodified way. Basically, that's open source for service, and Rapid Space Cloud or Rapid Space Anything We Do is actually provided as open process service. We share all our operation process for anybody to copy us. So we have a twin company in China that already copied us, and this is how actually we can deliver our service in mainland China, despite the fact that it is forbidden for foreigners to operate cloud in China. With open process service, we can. And today I brought one example of product, the open radio station. It's over there and uh, it's running already in 5G. It's a 2.4 kilogram little box that's designed by Rapid Space and that can be produced anywhere by anybody. It provides 5G connectivity, 2 times 1 watt, 2 T2R MIMO. It's an autonomous base station, which means it runs 
the Genome B, the radio unit, the core network, the IMS. It even runs a video streaming platform currently and a CDN. And this is done with only two Intel core of a five years old Intel embedded CPU. There is no accelerator. All the Galois group calculation for error correction are done by the pure software implementation of 5G using the AVX2 extensions of the CPU. The OSS BSS is an important part too. We have delivered already hundreds of boxes like that. Their management is completely automated and uh, there is basically it took me five minutes to set up. So what it means is that today with simple run and open compute servers, we can accept commercial deployments by tier one telcos. We already have two. We have partners for radios. I would like to talk about one partner in the United States called Upside in Boston. They are doing 96T, 96R MIMO radio units. And again, fully implemented by software, no hardware accelerator. Software is enough, just a, an AMD CPU running the GNOME B and that's all. We have in France AW2S, in China Sunwave. Now in Vietnam, VHT is providing great radio units too. And the complete stack of Simple Run already supports multiple vendors for radio. We accept contribution for the open radio station, which was released as open source today. You can download the PCB design files on the website rapidspace slash product slash ORS. You can learn how it works in handbook.rapid.space and you can order it on uh, rapid.space. And the next version, instead of two times one watt, will be about two times 10 watt, 100 megahertz of bandwidth instead of 40. And we are also now designing a new Ethernet radio interface that will not suffer from the problems of the current Oran e -Cipri. And the problems in the Oran design are what generates huge costs and problems of synchronization, and we believe we have the solution. So welcome. Uh, we are happy to deploy a simple run anywhere or to help any country produce their own 5G infrastructure. Thank you. Again, just my closing comment. I see John Paul's team uh, probably being one of our go-to 5G open source OCP providers in uh, mm -hmm. the ecosystem for sure. Yeah. We, we have an experiment site now. If you want to come and play with OCP servers, CPRI cards, Ethernet, radio units, plug them together and see how it works. Try to push 500 uh, virtual EUEs and see if it can load. We have a whole lab open with in Lille, in Lille North, one hour north of Paris airport. And uh, we have like uh, uh, 10 simulators of base station and UE, so we can simulate up to uh, 2,560 uh, smartphones. I've never, never met anybody as passionate about open source as this guy, and he is doing some amazing things. So thank you, John. Thank you so much. Yeah.